So he's a hawk gun man, huh? Those are some deadly droppings. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Build Bottle Change Rider series, Hawk Gatling. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Hawk Gatling. At the top of the box here, we have a very cool image there of the actual suit. On this side of the box, just Bottle Change Rider series, Common Rider Build, Hawk Gatling form. On the other side of the box, Hawk Gatling on the top of the box. Hawk Gatling mask wing Hawk Gatlinger on the bottom of the box you just have words and things and things and stuff on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and you have Sir Pac-Man and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along here we have a Hawk Gatling uh, I do like this form I think it looks cool I dig it very much so let's get in close here so we can take a look at the helmet, a uh, very cool design for the helmet. I do quite like it. You got the hawk side here done in a nice gold. Looks quite nice. And you have this side here with the Gatling done in a uh, nice gunmetal gray, which looks very, very striking. Got that little bit of silver right there on the forehead. And the detail on the suit, you can see the bullets there molded in. You have the nice gunmetal gray going on there as well. And the arms themselves are just uh, molded in a dark gray plastic, no paint on them, but still nicely detailed. And of course you have the build the driver there with the Hawk and Gatling full bottles and some silver on the driver there. And the Hawk side, little feathery details going on there on the shoulder pad. Looks quite cool and going down the legs you got that gunmetal gray and that orange. Right there. And the back, there's not a whole lot going on except for his wings. He does have wings. Just cast in an orange plastic. A good amount of detail there. And yeah. Now articulation wise, like with all the figures, there is no head movement whatsoever due to the way the gimmick works. The arms can do a full 360. Can only go out that far due to the shoulder pads. Same thing on the other side. That's all the outward movement you're going to get there due to the shoulder pads. You do have rotation at the bicep. You have 9 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have rotation at the wrist. The hands open and close. These two fingers are one piece, these two fingers are one piece as well. Uh, nothing at the waist, again, due to the gimmick. Legs can go forward that far, back, not very far at all. Outward, almost can do the full splits. You do have thigh rotation. Nine degrees of bend at the knee, and the feet are on a ball joint. They can move up, they can move down. You get a little bit of tilt, and you do get rotation. And the wings, as you can see, are on hinges. So you can angle them flat, bring them back, do whatever you want. Right there. So, yeah. So you got that going on. Now he does include his weapon. Here is the Hawk Gatlinger. And just cast in an orange plastic. And as usual, you know, all the detail that is supposed to be there is there. Just unfortunately, no paint on it. But still looks great. And the detail there, just uh, amazingly done. These little, these little weapons are always amazingly detailed, just unfortunately they don't paint them, but oh well. If you want them fully decked out in paint, you're just going to have to wait for the figure art. That's pretty much the way it works, but he can hold the Hawk Gatlinger, like so. He actually does hold it pretty securely. So, there you go. And, just for comparison, here it is with Rabbit Tank. Here it is with Gorilla Mond. So you can see his first three best match forms all together. Very cool. And of course, the gimmick of this line is that you can mix and match the halves here. So if you push, well, first you want to uh, remove the uh, the wings here. They just peg in. Just three separate pegs, three separate ports. Just plug right in. So remove the wings and you just push this button here on the small of his back. And that detaches the two halves. And you just boop, rip them in half. There you go. So now... Let's let's mix and match here. What are we gonna do? Ah, uh, let's use rabbit tank here. See how this works out. Disengage you, disengage. 
So uh, what are we gonna do? We'll do uh, no. Right, we'll do uh, here we go. We'll do we'll do rabbit gatling. There we go. Or gatling rabbits. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. I dig that. That actually looks cool. Oh, I like I like that. I like that. So <laughs> all right. So let's try uh, hawk tank tank hawk. That actually looks good too. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. Um, unfortunately, you can't use the wings on any other forms here because you don't have the uh, the ports on the back for the wings. So unfortunately, only Hawk Gatling itself can use the wings. None of the other. If you want to mix and match, unfortunately, you can't use the wings. They won't. It won't work. That's the one downside there. But um, that that looks good. That looks really cool. Uh, let's let's try with Gorilla Mond here. Let's try Gorilla Mon. Let's 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 mess around a little bit here. Let's see. Let's play. That's the point of these toys to play. Let's play. All right. So uh, uh, let's see what we're gonna use here. Okay. So we'll only do uh, no nope, wrong side. Uh, here we go. We we'll use Hawk Diamond. There we go. Hawk Mond. There we go. Hawk Mond. There's Hawk Mond. That doesn't look too bad. Hawk Mond and uh, let's see Gorilla Gatling. Here's Gorilla Gatling. That looks pretty cool. I like that. That looks cool too. Yes. Yes. That, I like that. I like the way that looks. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's cool. All right. I'm having too much fun here. All right, let's get these guys back together. <laughs> give me, give me, give to me your body parts. There we go. You get out of the way. All right. Let's put... Let's put Hawk Gatling back together here. Plug his wings back on. There we go. Give him back his gun here. But yeah, there you go. There you have Hawk Gatling. Again, you know, the, the, the fun of this line is definitely the, the mix and match aspect of it. And it is. It is fun. It's definitely fun to see all the different combinations you can get that we may never actually see on the show. So, you know, definitely adds to the playability. Obviously, the more figures you have, the more combinations you'll be able to put together and see what they look like. So, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. The downside is that the articulation is very limited, but they are still fun to mess with. They're, they are fun toys regardless, in my opinion anyway. So there you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out my Common Writer Build playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Common Writer Build Bottle Change Writer Series, Hawk Gatling, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, very proud. Boom in your face! Ah, don't, wait, where is everyone? Why is there no one around to appreciate the greatness of a god? Yes, finally I am soaring through the heavens as a god should! Oh, how the mighty have fallen!